beautiful. And, uh, wet. It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? What is this? The Crest of Skirnir. Clever one. Almost. Freya's camp is to the right. No rush, is there? Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. To Freya's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered. And there is much I owe her. Reminds me of a Vanaheim song I heard long ago. No one here. Where is everyone? Stay alert. I don't like this, brother. Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildis Vini! Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I... Oh... I am so... so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor. And friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Where is Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Bigvir. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. Hey, that happened. An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. At least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, he'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past this. Continue down this path, and you'll find their den. Good luck. And don't shoot any boars! <laughs> you think he's really forgiving me for shooting him? Trust me, lad. The old swine still carried a grudge. You'd know it. <laughs> what happened between you two? 
the usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. Just curious. Curiosity's all well and good. But so is well. Huh? Okay, okay. Point taken. and feels so different from the other realms. It's warm, like Svartalfheim, but there's a kind of thickness in the air. Mm. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Greek. For humid. Egros. I like it. <sighs> Find the milk in. It's making these things stronger! By a knocking, perhaps. Doubtful. You know, lad, this excursion into Vanaheim means you've now visited each of the nine realms. Huh. I guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. I think we can get. Oh, does Vini said both Frey and Big Bear were captured? Big Veer's the light elf who wanted to learn more about that library in Alfheim, right? Correct. An exiled scholar married to a warrior, Bela. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. Hope he's okay. <laughs> I can sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. 
Excited to meet Skull and Hattie, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. <laughs> At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. Uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, best we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Aenor Yar played a part according to Skull and Hati's shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? Bit sparse on the details. There is a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard the bounty. We will try there first. I told his beanie and yell. Who else has brought prayers on him? Not much army, really. Although Beer Girl was a soldier, <clears throat> once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous. Help! Again. Guess they know we're coming. I can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their skill. <laughs> Bring it down. We strike. <laughs> uh, empty. Where'd they all go? Wait, there's the moon. Uh, box down there. That's got to be it. This is definitely an ambush. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. 
Sophia's hoping that puts a dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Hey! Hurry! She's getting away! Come on! A double ambush? Okay, I can see that coming. She's gone again. Hurry, we gotta get across. Father, what about from over here? Times the charm. They are not smart. I understand. You know, what we're doing right now, all of this, it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hati Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're ready. Yeah! 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 
Cold. Is this? It's from Helheim. Timed almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Ah, I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. Father. How are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the giant said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. Another Adriard! To the west! Careful, brother. You're coming in by But what if, by doing all this, what if we're walking straight into Ragnarok? Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from... Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. Here goes nothing. Just like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Good choice, lad. They have a gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Feels like they want us to use it at one of the... Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hildespini and tell him about all this, yeah? Yes. 
Back to the camp. Wow. This place changes at night. A lot. No less humid, unfortunately. <laughs> Same one from earlier, was it? No. They come back fast. Not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhuryar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said. It will not come to that. like the egros. <laughs> we can get across from up here.
So, we report back to Hilda Sfini, then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the Light Elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for mask pieces. That is his concern, not ours. Sure, but if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, Father. All the plants here want to kill us? No, no. Only the carnaptious ones. Wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. She's a blossinder. Hounds prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your do doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. <laughs> 